Uh, Jess, you have some incredible video out of the South Storm Chasers. I, I saw this video and I thought, you really have to be a certain kind to want to like <laughs> right? be in the. Would you ever do it? No. no. You know, it's interesting too. Okay, so in college, there's study abroad, but then there's study abroad for meteorologists who actually go out and storm chase. I never signed up for that, by the way. But yes, Reed, check out this storm, or check out the storm chasers video. Actually, he caught two tornadoes touching down in Texas in the Panhandle just last night. Now, the twisters formed near the town of Clarendon, and we haven't seen any reports of damage so far, which is good news. However, especially after seeing the devastation that twisters left behind in Nebraska last week, we are going to continue to keep a close eye on the south and, of course, throughout the Midwest, too, as they deal with active weather during the season always. Now, back here in the Bay during this season, we get a different type of storm system. Usually, we're starting to linger out of those winter storms moving in from the Gulf of Alaska. But we have another one coming this weekend, and that's the big reason why our big weather headline, of course, is that storm that's moving in right around the corner, bringing in a series of showers for us throughout Saturday, and then it clears up fast as we head into our Sunday setup. So really just a one day event. Here's that storm still to the north of us. It'll sweep into the peninsula, excuse me, it'll sweep into the Pacific Northwest first, move down to the peninsula here in the bay, and then it'll continue to move off to the Sierra right around the corner into our Sunday forecast. But let's time this out. Let's get really, really detailed with this storm because if you have Saturday morning events, if you have Saturday morning sports, if you have anything outdoors on Saturday morning, it could be impacted by this storm. So here's what it's looking like Friday in the morning hour. So we're advancing the clock till tomorrow morning. Still nothing bad. Those coastal clouds stay just offshore. We notice on our models though that storm really starting to form from offshore moving its way from the like I said Pacific Northwest down to the Bay Area. I don't know why I said Peninsula specifically earlier by the way because all of us are going to get hit with this rain. It happens in the early morning hours on Saturday. This is now by 10 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. Notice how those heavy storms continue to sweep down to the Santa Clara Valley. At this point this is such a strong large storm that now it's being impact or it's impacting the Sierra as well with plenty of snow. Back here in the bay, just around 4 or 5 o'clock, we see those lingering showers starting to taper off, and then suddenly clear skies on the back end of that storm. So in total, that storm is going to give us close to around an inch of rain on average throughout the bay, but luckily it's going to dry up fast as we head into Sunday. Sunday, we're going to get a nice little warm-up once again. That cold front moves in, and it brings in 60s and 50s throughout the Bay Area. So, I mean, look around me right now. We're talking about 80s today in Concord and Antioch, 70s in Redwood City, 60s along their coast up into San Francisco, 70s down into the Santa Clara Valley. All of us are experiencing nice, mild weather today. Actually, a little bit warm in certain pockets of the Bay. But that cold front moves in, and it gives all of our microclimates a very similar forecast. 60s, 50s, all into our Saturday forecast. And then we slowly start to warm up into next week with 70s and sunshine right around the corner.